Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, um, we're diving into some really exciting news for Linux users out there. So, Fedora Linux has just announced that it now supports RISCV processors. Yeah, you heard that, right? RISCV. For those of you who might not be super familiar with it, RISCV is an open standard instruction set architecture, which basically means it's um, an alternative to the x86 architecture most desktops and laptops use and even the ARM architecture that powers most of our phones and tablets. It's like a fresh new take on how processors can work without all the licensing headaches that come with x86 or RAM. Now this is super interesting because um, a lot of companies have been eyeing RISV as a potential platform for the future. I mean, just think about it. Qualcomm and Google are already working together on smartwatches powered by RISV. So Fedora jumping on board is a pretty big deal. It shows that the Linux community is really starting to uh, embrace this emerging technology. So what exactly did Fedora do? Well, they um, rolled out official RISCV install images. That means if you're into experimenting or developing on this new architecture, Fedora has got you covered. They even set up a dedicated server to build RISCV packages for their software repositories. And hey, it's not just Fedora, Debian, and a few other distributions have also started supporting RISCV. So there's a real trend happening here. The announcement mentioned that over the past year, there's been a surge of new RISCV hardware hitting the market. Up until now, if you were trying to run an operating system on RISCV, your choices were pretty limited. You might have had Debian or some older version of Fedora, but now with this new support, it's looking like we might finally get a more um, stable and up-to-date environment on RISC-V devices. And it's not just about the software. The hardware side is also moving fast. For example, the Raspberry Pi Pico 2 supports RIS-CV instructions, plus Pine64 has released the Star64 board along with some other devices powered by RISC-V processors. There's even a RISC-V tablet from Deep Computing that runs Ubuntu, although um, Android 15 support is still pending. It's a really exciting time to watch where this technology is headed. Of course, we are still in the early days of RISC-V. We might be a bit far from seeing mainstream computers, phones, or tablets with RISC-V processors anytime soon, but getting a solid software platform like Fedora behind it is a huge step in the right direction. It uh, opens up a lot of possibilities for future development and innovation. So what do you think about uh, Fedora supporting RIS-CV? Is this a game changer for Linux or just a cool experiment? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this update, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech news. All right, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.